Hi, my lovely friends. It's Michelle, the Southern Shell. And I'm here because life events. I was um, doing pretty good posting videos again, or trying to get posting videos again, my crafting passion. And um, then we got the aftermath of the hurricane. And I live in Northeast Tennessee. I just wanted to give you a snapshot of the counties around that got hit. And we are on the, on the borders of Virginia, North Carolina, and Tennessee. We have a lot of church family who actually live in Unicoi County. And so we've had a lot of people that we know have been affected by this natural disaster now in our area. Now we are aware of tornadoes. We have a basement where, you know, we, we are aware of that sort of thing here in Tennessee, but never did I think we would get hit this hard by storms and flooding. We've had interstates washed away. All interstates and highways leading to North Carolina have been washed away. They are gone. Unicoi County, I have some friends that live out there and half, half their town is gone. It's just gone. Um, we have several friends that didn't lose anything. They had some damage, but praise God, that's all they lost. Here in our place, we went for days without power. We live like pioneers. Um, Cause I'm shaking, you know, you know me and my shaking. Um, but what has really kind of surprised me is we had so much flooding in our basement and we lost quite a bit down there. I mean, we had just moved in here um, and we finally just finished emptying our storage unit and we were putting stuff down in the basement. So, but it, the basement had a sump pump and it had been treated and it was, it's been bone dry with any of the storms that we've had since we moved in here. And that's been wonderful. So this shocked us because the boxes now downstairs um, have water lines up to three feet on, on them. Uh, so yes, we're gonna go through and throw a bunch of stuff out, but that's nothing. That is nothing compared to what so many have lost in our area. Counties all around us, bridges have been washed out. There is no way to get supplies to people in Asheville. Well, there is now, <laughs> but one of the hospitals that my daughter my daughter works for a corporation that has a lot of hospitals under it. And they they ended up underwater. They had to rescue 50 people off of the rooftop of Unicoi County Hospital after they got the patients and some employees out, but they had to get 50 off the roof. And water was up to the roof line. So if you're not familiar with what was going on out here in Tennessee, um, North Carolina. Check out East Tennessee, Northeast Tennessee flooding and for 2024 you will get an eyeful. But I wanted to share because of so many um, issues with water. I have kids that are under boil, boil alerts, you know, boil your water now. Um, I know people that have water stored, but I want you to remember bottled water has an expiration date and it's usually a year. And it doesn't mean that right at that year it's gonna go bad, but it does have an issue. You cannot keep it for very long. That's why water doesn't store on long voyages. That's why, you know, coming across the oceans back in the day, you know, you couldn't really store water. It would go rancid. So today, Instead of, you know, the bottled water, I am canning water, and I wanted to share that with you. So this is what I have going on so far. Now over here, I have my dishwasher finishing up its sanitation. I'm having the, my jars, my canning jars sanitized in my dishwasher. And once they're done, I will keep them in the dishwasher to keep them hot 
and I will get my lid seals ready and then I will be able to do the water bath for them. I know, canning water. Sounds kind of weird, doesn't it? But it works. So over here, I have my big water bath and I've got it heating up inside. And over here, I have two of my big pans with water. You wanna bring them to a boil and you want them to boil for five minutes. And once you have them boil for five minutes and your canning jars are sanitized, you can then start filling your jars with the water and leave like a half inch from the top. Add your seals, slightly finger tighten your rings and water bath them. Now we're above a thousand feet, so I would need to water bath mine for 15 minutes. If you're below a thousand feet, you're gonna do it for 10. If you're above 6,000, you're gonna do it for 20. So 10, 15, 20. So there's your, your guidelines there. I will share with you this process. If anybody in my church or family um, around me that needs this, I will give it to them. I am not worried about conserving for myself. Our neighbors have stepped up for each other and I can't do much of anything because of my health. And financially, I wish I could get out there and just give money to do things. It's not, it's not part of my gift. My gift, I can can, I can craft. I'm crafty, I'm very inventive in my mind and I can do things like this to share. So that's what I'm doing. That's my gift. That's how I can help out. How can you help out in catastrophes, natural disasters in your area? Think about it and be prepared for next time. So this one was a little harder to record while I was doing this. So I figured a voiceover would be much easier because I can't do things and think and talk about something else at the same time. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing here. I have my jars out of the dishwasher. They are sanitized. My water has been boiling for 15 minutes and um, my canning supplies also went through um, the sanitizing in the dishwasher as well. So I know that they're all ready to go. And so I have one jar and I'm just filling that jar up. As you can see here, very simple process. It is hot and I use the funnel because I don't wanna get that water everywhere. And once I get it to the level that I want it to be, I can see there. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lift that funnel and give it a quick check. And I'm probably gonna add just a, a hair more to there. Um, I believe I do. Yep, there it goes. Okay, and then once that is all um, done, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out of there. And I have my seals in a, a cup that had boiling water in it. And I pull that out with my magnetic strip and I sit that right on top of my jar. Now I don't have any food or, you know, jelly or anything like that. Um, you know, if you're canning, you want to make sure your, your jar is um, clean from where, uh, where you filled it. Well, this is water. And so I didn't have any issues there. Once I had that, um, lid screwed on i grabbed it with my canning tongs here and i'm gonna lift that because that jar is hot mama and you can see i lifted it right into my water bath now i went ahead and took this and very carefully lowered it into my water canner once those are all in there i'm going to go ahead and cover this up with my lid I'm going to make sure everything else is off on my stovetop and start my timer. Now I'm going to do 15 minutes on my timer and that is because I am between 1,000 and 6,000 above sea level. Under 1,000 is going to be 10, over 6,000 is going to be 20. Set that up and we are ready to go. So I very carefully, can you hear that? There we go. Very carefully lifted that out of the water bath 
and as soon as it came out of the water they started popping and sealing up real nice so now I'm gonna take my um, jar let's call them jar tweezers jar tongs there we go and I'm going to move them around to my table to my table right here and let them sit overnight like I do all my canning jars and they'll be ready to go one batch done a few more to go so here you go you watch you can still see some of them are boiling look at that is that awesome they've already all popped and sealed so there is 14 So here you have it guys, that's how I canned some water. And I'm putting it down in my basement for needs for later. Thank you so much guys for joining me today. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you will consider doing so now as it does really help my channel. If you give this a like, it will put me out there in an algorithm for others to find me and my content. Thank you so much. God bless, stay safe, and have a wonderful day.